Here we have four instances of fractal beats, four instances of mosaic, all being driven by Playbeat MIDI, which is on four different MIDI channels going to OM. And then the output from those is going to mosaic. And each instance of mosaic has a different channel. And then that'll be used to control the fractal beats and fractal bits. And in each of those, we'll assign the transpose to the CC1 for each different channel in each instance of fractal bits. This way, you can get a chromatic output from fractal bits. And then the Velocity Filter app gets the velocity from OM. So that way there's some dynamics captured also from the MIDI from Playbeat originally. And each of these fractal bits is using the same preset. You could of course have different presets for each instance. And then we're going to set it up to record into on each of the different four tracks coming from fractal bits. We need to adjust the the levels to make sure we're not clipping. And once we do that, we can go over to the tempo sync area of um, and set how many bars you want to record. So we'll make it eight bars. And then we can just record those eight bars and we want to hit the record button again on arm so that way it stops after the first eight bars. And then once that's done, those will all be saved as separate files. And then we can use the Files app to access those. But first, let's create a new song in multi-track. We'll call it Fractal Bits. And then we'll take each of those files. We can just use slide over and use the files app. Take each one of those files and drag them onto the timeline. So this way we'll be able to recreate in multi-track the beat we just played and recorded. And then you can, of course, then use the multi-track as a, as a source and be able to add all sorts of effects and things. And then what we can also do is record another four. See, so this is, sounds like we just played. And then we can also go and we can clear out our files from the Files app that we just used. Since they're already in multi-track, we don't need to save them again. So we just do a select all and then delete in the trash can down below. And there we go. That way we're not cluttering up our, our system with files we don't need because they're already in multi-track. So then we can just go over and Hit the record button again, and once again, when it gets to a, a sync point, it'll start recording those bars again. There we go. 
you know, it's gonna hit the chord pad again, so it only requires eight bars. And once it's finished, then we can go ahead and stop playback. Go to the Files app again. There's the four new ones we just recorded. And we can also drag those onto the timeline. So then we'll have 16 bars total. And of course, in multi track, you could, you know, split these up. So if you wanted to have four sets of four, four bars in separate regions, you can do that. And you can then arrange them how you wanted the song and everything. Once again, we'll just delete these since we don't need them. And that's just a way you can work with multi-track recording from Fractal Beats using Playbeat to generate the MIDI, using the Mosaic patch to be able to play dramatically and using velocity filter to make sure that we have velocity dynamics affecting the output that we've recorded here.